Hi there, Charlie Van Durven with Social Advisors. First, I just want to say thank you for accepting my connection request. It's great to be a part of your network on LinkedIn, and I hope you get value by being connected to me. Next, I want to tell you about a video that's going to follow this quick introduction. It's uh, myself and my colleague, Lori Reg, who is our business development manager, really having a conversation about the services that we provide at, at Social Advisors and how that benefits our financial advisor clients. So I'd encourage you to take a couple minutes, take a look at that video. If there's any interest whatsoever, I figured that was a nice, easy way to, uh, to introduce you to Social Advisors and the services that we provide our clients. If, after watching that video, you have further curiosity, please schedule time with me or Lori, and, uh, and we'll take some time and personalize our prospecting strategies to your practice and your objectives. So again, thanks for being a part of my network. I hope you get some value out of being connected to me. I certainly hope I get some value out of being connected to you too. And, uh, and let us know if we can talk further. Um, listen, we, what we do is really simple, right? We, Agreed. we're a prospecting. Partner. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're a prospecting partner for our advisor clients. Um, and, uh, and I know from 20 plus years of working with advisors, several of those years in a business development and marketing coaching capacity, the two things that an advisor can do on a consistent basis that moves their business forward, predicates where they're going to be in six, 12, 18 months, three years, five years from now, are prospecting and planning. Now, planning something that hopefully all of you do on, let's say, a monthly, quarterly, biannually, at least an annual basis, so that you can lay out plans to get your business to where you want to be, right? Prospecting is different. Prospecting is something that the most effective advisors do every single day. Now, here's the thing. When, when an advisor gets busy with client demands, family demands, whatever it is, ironically, the two things that take a back burner are also planning and prospecting, right? So if you find yourself pushing those callbacks back to the back burner and pushing it off to the next day and the next day becomes the next day, we're a great service for you. So we are, we are prospecting partners to our clients. Pretty good summary, Lauren. That's it. That's what we do. It's, it's, um, <clears throat> it's a simple concept, but it obviously it's a very effective concept. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I like to ask the advisors that, uh, that I get a chance to talk to, and there's a lot of them, I like to ask, what's the biggest stumbling block or hurdle to business development? What do you think their answer is about 80% of the time? Getting in front of quality prospects. Yep. Exactly right. So here's what we do. On LinkedIn, Sales Navigator specifically, and if you're not familiar with Sales Navigator, it is a little bit of a, a premium upgrade to LinkedIn. Um, what it allows you to do as a participant of Sales Navigator, it's basically a query tool. It allows you to search the data of the users on LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn's got, I don't know, 600 million users, um, uh, you know, more affluent than the other, you know, than the other, uh, than the other, than the other um, social media platforms. Uh, responsible for 80% of business to business leads sourced on the internet. I mean, it's an awesome platform. So we leverage LinkedIn Sales Navigator to help you find the exact professionals you want to do business with. So either that's maybe CPAs for referral relationships, estate attorneys in that same category, um, business owners, uh, executives, maybe you're planning, you know, you do 401k work. So it's plan sponsors like CFOs and controllers and HR professionals. These types of targets are ideal for LinkedIn. We help you find that, you know, that, that group of people in, in your area. So I don't know, Lori, maybe I just do a screen share real quick. Does that sound like a good way to approach this? And I just, I can demo it that way instead of just talking through it. So let me, let me share my screen. One moment, I'm trying to share Google. There we go, okay. Okay, cool. Can you see my, can you see Google Chrome on my screen, Lori? I can. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna go to LinkedIn. I gotta move a couple little video panes around and stuff, and then I'm gonna click on Sales Navigator. And do you mind, you're, Lori's near St. Louis. How about we use St. Louis as our guinea pig? Perfect. Cool, so under Advanced Search and Search for Leads, if I just type in geographically St. Louis, greater St. Louis area, there we go. 
you're going to see in the greater St. Louis area, 1.1 million professional profiles. That's a lot of people. Not all of those people are active, obviously. So we can use all this criteria, right? industry, years in their current position, current company, which company they work at. The ones that we tend to use more than anything else are titles. Um, so if I click on owner, maybe partner, maybe C-suite, right? This is just gives us a, a, something to look at for demonstration purposes. We've got 121,000 profiles in the St. Louis area that fit that description. Now we could go even more narrow than that, but to give, this gives us a number to work with. Hit search, a couple things that we can see. 866 of these people changed jobs in the last 90 days. Lori, what does that do? That is your low hanging fruit right there. That's your money emotion indicator. You're looking for rollovers, there they are. There they are, 866 of them. Now, while the 121,000, those aren't all active people, let's say maybe it's 50% active. These 5,500 people that posted on LinkedIn in the last 30 days, these are super active people, right? They're, they're, they're hyperactive, so they're all active. Here's what we do as a service. Representing our advisor client, we do not log into LinkedIn as you, but representing you um, through a piece of software that runs our processes, we reach out to a minimum of 1,300 of these people every single month. Basically cold calling, right? Just, just an, an invitation to connect. Now They think it's you the whole time. Invitation to connect. Of that 1,300 at a minimum, most months it's about 1,500. About 350 of those people are going to accept your invitation to connect. So now they're connections of yours. As connections of yours, they're opting into communication. So we follow that new connection up with three to four campaign messages that go out over about 25 business days. So someone accepts that connection to uh, uh, request to connect. When they accept it, they'll soon get that first, you know, that first introduction message. And then they'll receive a series of three to four messages over about 25 days. The intent of those messages is not salesy. It is all about building rapport and relationship and asking for an introduction call. Now, you've defined exactly what that ideal client profile looks like. Are they business owners? Are they executives? Are they plan sponsors, right? Are they CPAs? Um, and, uh, and then we, we draft the messaging for the campaign. Our advisor, advisor client reviews and approves that and then compliance approves that as well. Once we've got the approvals, that's when we can launch the campaign. We never say anything that isn't pre-approved. So we're not speaking out of turn whatsoever, but every single month, the average client of ours receives about 15 new inbound leads or calls um, that are interested in getting to know you, right? I will say, Lori, and I, you'll, you'll, I'm sure you'll back this, the most successful people on our platform are good at relationships. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The least successful people on our platform are desperate financial advisors who try to sell too damn hard. So you've got to have some tact. You've got to be good at relationship. In, if, if, if you're good at those things, you'll be successful with what we do. If you're trying to sell too hard, you won't. That's, it's simple, right? I mean, I can make it sound really complicated, but that's it. It's just, you know, it's just economy of scale. It's, it's, uh, it's percentages of numbers. That's the prospecting service as it sits today. Now, we will launch our first, uh, our first content solution in beta later this month in November. Early next year, we will have a comprehensive analytics solution and we're working on CRM integrations right now. So today it's a prospecting service. Within the next few months, it will be a complete LinkedIn sales solution. That's where we're headed. We're a progressive company and we're excited to, to roll out some of these additional features. But even as it sits right now, just as prospect and service, it's pretty damn good. Those features is, are good. They are. Yeah, yeah, they are. All right, Lori, I'm gonna shut the hell up, which is not something I'm very good at. Um, anything you wanna add there? Um, I think really the only thing that we kind of skimmed over is the amount of connections that are being added to your network. Um, 
they're quality connections and you know, they're relationships you're going to be able to nurture until the end of time. You're not just simply building a network to have a large network. It's a quality network. These are people that, I mean, they're ultimately going to help build your business. Yeah, that's right. So if you, yeah, if it's business owners that you're targeting when, you know, over the course of six months, if we had, uh, you know, 2000 new connections, which would be about spot on, those are all business owner connections, right? So when you post content, um, those are the people that are going to see your content. You're going to influence them, you know, from, from now until, you know, you're, you're done content marketing or you're out of the industry. So great point. Great point. Yeah. So, cool. I don't know that we need to say any more than that. I mean, you know, it's a, uh, it's, it's a good service. It works for the huge majority of people that we work with. We do ask for a six month commitment to it. It is a campaign, so it takes a little bit of time to get rolling. But once it's rolling, it's hard to stop that train. Um, and that's not just the LinkedIn world. You know, it's the everyday world. It takes a while to nurture those relationships. So yeah. you have to see it. In, you have to see it work. See it yeah. in motion. Yeah. So cool. If you want to learn more, um, I'd encourage you to book more time with us. On this landing page where you're watching the video, uh, you can download a case study. Uh, that's a case study that was done a client of ours at about 16 months after using our service for 16 months. Uh, at that point, had an annualized revenue of $42,000, was booking a new client every six to eight weeks. He was a third year advisor, is a third year advisor, still a client of ours. Um, second career in his 40s. And uh, so I think he had landed his largest, his largest account, a $3 million account, is through an introduction that we facilitated on LinkedIn for him. So, I mean, the, the metrics speak for themselves. Great ROI tied to his investment. Um, you can also download a real report. We, of course, hid the names, but you can see the type of people that we're able to connect uh, advisors to and that are responding to these type of LinkedIn campaigns. So, it works. Yeah. <laughs> I leave it at that. I don't, you know. I, it works. It's yeah. simply put, it works. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. say because it works. Yeah, exactly. So, Lori, I don't know. I think uh, I think we're good, huh? I'm good. All right, awesome. Well, uh, I uh, I encourage you to sign up for some time with me or Lori, and um, you know, we'd love to work with you. We'd love to be your prospecting partner. Thank you for your time, everyone. Talk to you, Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye, Charlie. Bye.